Oh, that's a good fish. Damn, I lost him. I got him. He came back. What is it? I don't know, but it's. Oh. Get him in there. There we go. Yeah! Ooh, big fish. Oh, oh, big fish just swiped at your bait. Keep it moving. Jerk it, jerk it. Got him. Oh my Yo! gosh. Oh my gosh. It's a monster. That Dad. was sick. It's a monster. Dad saw him following. Oh, that's a big one. Whoa! Oh, this camera just died. Oh my gosh. Look at the size of this thing. Crank me. That is so insane how a bait this small can catch a fish this big. All right, hello everyone. Welcome back to another video. It's Avery here. And today I am in the little boat fishing a small lake right near my house. Um, we actually just finished filming some underwater lure footage for Shimano. And we thought that after we were done filming the lures, we would take out the little crankbaits that we actually did film and try and catch some fish in this little lake. I grew up fishing this lake. I've always wanted to throw these things around. There's so many species in this lake that would eat these things, especially because it is bluegill colored, this specific one, and there are lots of bluegill in this lake. Um, so there's bluegill, rock bass, uh, brown trout, rainbow trout, largemouth. We're trying to catch whatever eats today, even the big bluegill will eat these things. So let's get fishing. We only have an hour uh, until my mother's birthday dinner. Dad's gonna fish as well. Let's go. Catch some, catch some fish. Check your drag, make sure it's loose. Yeah, it's loose. Cause I perch fish with it. Let's First see. cast and no bite. We're going to have issues with your speed driving. I'm gonna slow down once I get us to a decent spot. Because I fish slower than you. It's a crankbait. We're beating the bank. Not at a million miles per hour. It would be awesome to catch it. Oh, fish on! Let's go! Is that like your third cast? Yeah, this is literally is my third. I think it's a rock bass. No, it's a t is it no, a rock bass? No, it's a rock bass. Rock bass! Woo! Woo! Ah, he's barely hooked. <laughs> third cast, we got this itty bitty rock bass on the bluegill colored crankbait. McBeth 39F. Let's get him back. Whoop. There he goes. That was awesome. <laughs> this is gonna be fun. Bull crap! What is bull crap? The fact that you caught one right away and I haven't caught one yet. And I'm at the back of the boat. And you're at the back of the boat. <laughs> superior, superior skills. Whatever, I'm going for the big fish. Do you know what? What kind of flour you put on? Four pound, five pound? Six pound. Six pound? I want to make sure we get those six pounders in without breaking the line. No fish finders. We're going old school. We're just beating old the bank. Beating the bank. Avery's got the bluegill colored one on. I've got this funky looking purple one. Purple back with the it's called super purple, bright. It's called purple chartreuse. Purple chartreuse, I guess Avery said it's called. This little guy, I'm gonna try this for a while, but if she keeps kicking my butt, I'll be switching to a bluegill color because there are a ton of bluegill in this <laughs> lake. Whoever catches the biggest fish doesn't have to drive home. I don't want to drive. So far you're winning. Yes, I won't have to drive home then. And passenger gets to choose what we listen to actually. Oh, fish on. I don't know, it's tiny. You still got them? Yeah, it's really small. I think it's a small rock bass. It's really tiny. No, it's a small largemouth, Woo! look! Show them to the back camera. Look at First how large big mouth he of the is. day. First large mouth of the day. Just an itty bitty baby. Look at how pretty he is. Ah! Okay, in the lake he goes. Oh, got him. You gone? What is it? <laughs> uh, I think my rock bass no is still bigger. My rock Not bass is bigger. My rock bass is bigger. Rock bass don't count. It's all about large They do count, so. I changed the rules. All right. First largey on the Macbeth 39F. If I hold him really close, he might look big. He's about four solid inches, maybe five. Just let him go. Beautiful little largemouth. Oh. With a bucket. Come on, eat it. Oh. No! You missed him. No! No! He's mine. No, go away. No, no! Stop it! Stop! Got him! No! <laughs> no! He came back! No! He was going after my bait! That's my fish! 
That's, giant. My, that's my fish. Rock bass. You stole him from me. He's not that giant, he's, but. He's pretty big. He came after Avery's bait and she just sucked, so. No, you. I tossed mine back in, a little oh. jerk jerk, like a jerk bait, and he smoked it. Off that he goes. That was rude. I literally, <laughs> he literally was coming back to me, but then you sniped him. That was rude. I sniped him. I think I have the biggest largemouth and the biggest rock I'm bass I'm not now. driving home. That was, we spit shook on it. <laughs> we did not shake Yeah, you don't remember? All. We did not. Now I just need the biggest rainbow trout and I kicked her butt on everything. You drive home and I'll buy ice cream. Oh, that's a good fish. Damn, I lost him. I got him. He came back. What is it? I don't know, but it's not giant, but it's a lot bigger than that rock bass. Probably a bigger rock bass. Or big. Ooh. Ooh. It's fighting. it's fighting. Oh, it's big fish. Oh, is that a trout? I'm not sure, but. No, it's a big large one. Get the net. I wouldn't call him big, but he's not tiny. It's a big Deer Creek largemouth. That's on this a big tiny... largemouth for Deer Creek. On this tiny rod, it's a good largemouth. Get over here, fish. On this tiny, hold on. Here. Oh. Get him in there. There we go. Yeah! Woo! Big Woo! Deer Creek largemouth. That's kicking my butt. Now that. I mean, he's not giant, it's but that big for is a cool catch on a tiny, tiny little bait. Look at that thing right there. It's annoying. So sick. That's annoying. So much fun. I'm ca what are we using, Ave? Ultra light rods. An ultra light, five ultra and a light. half foot, two to six pound. Claris. Little Claris. Caught that beautiful largemouth bass in this tiny little bait. Six pound test fluoro. Got him right in the tip of the nose. Popped out like nothing. That is cool. Let me take a picture and then let him go. You're cheating. All right, nice little largy on a tiny little bait with a tiny little rod, and that is so much fun. Let him go. Away he goes. Okay, driver, get back to driving All so right, I can get That him. was cool. He smoked it once and missed it, and then he came back and ate it. Fish on. Oh, it's a good one. It's a good large mouth. He's out here in he the trees. might be stuck Get in the trees. He might be stuck in the trees. You got, no, him. You I got, got him. him. You got him. You got him. Don't want him to jump. Don't oh. want him to jump. He jumped. Where's the net? <laughs> Where's go? the net? Where's back the net? Here, back I don't here. know where the net is. Right here. You're going there. You're trying to sabotage me. <laughs> there <up>? we go. <laughs> Woo! You tried to sabotage me <laughs> by not getting the net. There we go. Better large mouth for me on the bluegill colored crankbait. He was almost stuck in the trees. Luckily, I got him out before he snapped off. Let's unhook him. He's not as big as dad's. Whatever. <laughs> Close enough. These fish here are so pretty too. They got the gray green color in them. Let's get this guy back. There he goes. We're almost tied, Dad and I. He stole my rock bass, though. All right, so how this is rigged is I've got five pound Power Pro as basically my baseline. Um, and this allows me to cast this little mini crankbait a mile because it doesn't weigh like anything. This lighter, uh, smaller diameter line makes it so that I can get it to the places I want to cast. And then I've got this six pound Mastiff fluorocarbon leader and basically the water here in this lake is so clear, crystal clear, we can see through it like glass. And basically this makes it so that fish aren't going to see our five pound braid. And it's also pretty abrasive, resistant. Um, there are toothy fish in here like we are kind of targeting browns and rainbows. And so this will make it that we don't break off on the toothier species of fish. A couple more casts into that little back bay and then we'll work our way back towards the ramp. Sounds good, boss. See what we catch between here and the ramp. Unless I catch a five pounder right now, then we're done. Then we're done? Yeah, you don't get to keep fishing. Five pounder equals done? Five pounder equals what's the point in fishing anymore? 
If I catch a five pounder, I'll gladly drive home and oh. you can pick music. Yes. Uh, I think it's happening either way, to be honest. I can't see. I need to put my glasses on. There's a large mouth there. Little baby largey. I want to catch him. Got oh, him. you got him. Yes! <laughs> yes, I got him. I got him. Little I'm guy. I'm flipping him in. Yeah! Show him to the camera at the back. There we go. I spotted this guy. I put my glasses on, my polarized Smith glasses, my spotted him, Smith glasses. and right away, he just went after it. There we go. Largemouth number three for me. In he goes. Hey, I was just giving a shout out to Smith. Yeah, I know. I was just laughing at you. Oh, oh, big fish just swiped at your bait. Keep it moving. Jerk it, jerk it. Got him. Oh my gosh. Oh, oh my gosh. It's a monster. That man. was sick. It's a monster. It's a monster. That's... It's a monster. Let me get this net. I mean, it's not a monster, it's but it's a, a big fish. It's a monster for Deer Creek, okay? It's a big fish for this bait. It's a monster rod. for Deer Creek. Hold on. <laughs> Let's go. Let's go. Bluegill. Bluegill. Okay. Bluegill oh. color. I jerked it a couple times. I didn't even see him following. Dad saw him following. Oh, that's a big one. Whoa! Oh, this camera just died. Oh my gosh, look at the size of this thing! Okay, we need to get a battery, battery for that camera. This is probably the biggest ever largemouth bass I have caught here at Deer Creek on the mini crankbait. That is so insane how a bait this small can catch a fish this big. Let's go! Bluegill for the win! I am not driving home. Dad is driving home because I've caught the biggest fish here. Let's go! We need to get a picture with him and then get him back. That's so awesome. All right, I got a couple pictures of this big largemouth bass. Now it's time to get him back. There he goes. That is so awesome. <laughs> Great way to end off my night because I'm calling her a day. Dad's gonna fish. Actually, I'll fish too, but I win. Whatever. <laughs> I'm not driving go. I don't think you can beat that. Uh, I coached you through how to catch him. Okay, I completely coached her through that fish catch. So I call that catch 50% mine. No way. The only thing he said to do was, basically, I didn't see that fish like coming at all because I wasn't paying attention. I don't know what I was looking at or talking about. But then he's like, oh, Avery, big fish is falling up your bait. He told me to jerk it a couple times. And basically what that does is I was changing the action of um, what I was originally doing, which was just speed cranking. That little change in action made him react because um, because when they see it, when fish see something different, a lot of times they'll react to the, the difference in the movement. Anyways, the change in action is sometimes the way to go. Oh, fish. He smoked it. Smoked it. Whoa. Do you need a net for nah, him? I don't need a net. He's little. Ah, safety, just in case. You're going to swing him? Oh, gosh. <laughs> Maybe you shouldn't Pretty limp swing. Rod. Swing it in Ooh, on an ultra light rod. Hooks there. Ah! Another largey smoking the micro cranker. Oh no. You got a treat? Another little guy smoked it. Fun to watch them just come out from under the leaves and hammer it right in front of you. Very neat. I think I have my new favorite way of fishing largemouth at this lake. <coughs> Certainly at this time of year. Same. I could chuck these things all day we had all day. Uh, yeah, I was gonna say only this time of year because nothing beats the... the Another one just followed it all the way to the boat. Bait. Fish. Oh, you smoked it. Yeah, I know. I Up wonder shallow. what it is. I think it's a, I think it's a rock large bass. Mouth. Oh no, it's a rock bass. It's a rocky. Rock bass. Good job Bigger than my last one. Woo! 
We got a rock bass on the bluegill colored crankbait. He smoked it way up shallow. Let's unhook it. There we go. Back he goes. Oh. Mm. Let's not get fish slime on my new slippers. I probably shouldn't have wore these, but they're easy to put on and, uh, and take off. Well guys, that is officially it for today. We are making our way back to the ramp, trolling, uh, but we are almost there, so um, it's time to call our day. Uh, Mom is calling us home. We had about an hour to fish. It is her birthday weekend, and we haven't had a, her family birthday dinner yet, so we are heading home to have her family birthday dinner. It was a pretty successful afternoon. We got some baits filmed for Shimano, and we caught a whole bunch of fish um, on the Macbeth uh, crankbait, Shimano crankbait. Uh, I caught my biggest ever Deer Creek largemouth bass on the tiny crankbait, and I had a lot of fun doing so. Dad caught a whole bunch of fish as well. He was beating me there for a while, but then I went up to him. There's still time. <laughs> There's still time. The ramp's like 100 okay. yards away. <laughs> Anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. Uh, I sure had a great time filming it using these little crankbaits. If you did, please click the like button. And if you'd like to see more content like this, please click the big red subscribe button. We will see you next time. Take a kid fishing.